Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra. I'm Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> Dakota had such a great time being on our show last week after we kidnapped her. She was screaming and kicking, of course, <laughs> yelling, no, no. <laughs> so anyway, welcome to KNL Everyday CNA. Mm -hmm. Today on the show, we will be introducing something different to the show. It's called NACA Neighborhood. Once a month, we will be highlighting our members doing special events starting today. You can send all the great things to LaShondra and I. You can send them by email or private message us. Make sure it says this is for the NACA neighborhood. This could include leadership team projects, pictures. Maybe there's another CNA that has helped you. Mm -hmm. This would be a great way to say thank you. Dakota, have you had a CNA that was really helpful when you started at MVH? Yeah, I've had a couple uh, people at the Veterans Home. I've had, obviously, you oh. and Rudy and Natalie. They've been really good help down there. They made it feel really homey. Well, when I knew you were coming there, I was so happy because <laughs> Trenisha talked about you all the time when you guys worked together. <laughs> and I'm like, Trenisha, we got her. She's at the... Um, veterans Home, so right. we were so happy to have you, and we're still glad to have you. You're well, a really you. great CNA. Thanks. To be young and dedicated and just really care for the residents, that's, that's mm -hmm. an honor. Because some just want to come there and get right. a check, but you really care. Like, right. you take your time with them, and it's just, it's great. It's great to have <laughs> you. <laughs> um, I want to go back to something you said on the first show. Um, you said that your dad wanted you to be a yes. CNA. Um, do you know why he wanted you to be a CNA? Was um, it like a lesson he was trying to teach you? Or? Well, he really wants me to be a nurse, but he also wants me to take the stepping stones to be a nurse before mm -hmm. I become one because, mm -hmm. you know, you have to respect your CNAs. Right. We're really important yes. on the floor, and it's always nice to have a nurse that, you know, will help you. Um, right. On the daily stuff that you have to do right. already. Yes. Right. Do you think after being a, a CNA and enjoying it that you will climb the ladder? Are you kind of happy where um, you're at? I'm, I've thought about it. I'm going to take a CMT class at the Vets Home, yes. so I'm pretty okay. excited about that. So I guess if I get comfortable enough knowing that I can mm -hmm. pass meds, I can become a nurse, <laughs> hopefully. That's, that's awesome. That's great. Yes, yeah, awesome. very good. Um, the first CNA on the NACA neighborhood is Celeste Wooten from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Celeste has an incredible um, and remarkable story behind what she calls Debbie's Dolls. Celeste stated three years ago she had a patient who had a stroke. The stroke left her with some memory and cognitive impairment. The patient wouldn't talk really, did not want to participate in activities, and began to experience sundowning. Mm. Celeste happened to bring her grandson to visit with her one day. She lit up and said, baby, she banged to encourage him with. Him with. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> That's why we have these cheat sheets. Uh -huh. we, we do them all the time. Yes. Celeste states she started doing some research and found out that baby dolls help with some sundowning and anxiety with our memory care seniors. The patient, Debbie, would associate the baby doll with her son and name the doll her son's name. Mm -hmm. This was the beginning of Debbie's doll's creation. Celeste states every year for her birthday, she donates baby dolls to her memory care communities in the name of her patient, Debbie, and that she also celebrates her own birthday with cupcakes along with baby dolls. Aww. That's really neat and mm -hmm. good. If you would like to donate, please reach out to Celeste by Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn. You can also view her wish list on her Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Celeste, in honor of your birthday and Debbie, we have a few dolls we, would be, we will be sending you. Thank you for your dedication, the passion, you have for our elders. Celeste, I'm glad that these two kidnapped me. What a beautiful story. <laughs> I agree, it is a beautiful story to kick off the Naka neighborhood. And here's your vows, Celeste. Yes. <laughs> um, if you notice, there's a K on this one. And an L on mine. <laughs> and these are K and L everyday <laughs> CNA <laughs> dolls. <laughs> and uh, 
we'll get with you and get the address to where um, these need to be mailed to. And again, thank you. This is an awesome so program mm -hmm. um, that you do. We did have cupcakes, but uh, since we kidnapped this one, um, she kind of got hungry on the way. <laughs> so, uh, we don't have no cupcakes for you. <laughs> so it's a lesson learned that next time we go to kidnap a scene <laughs> to bring them down to the studio, uh, we need some Cheez-Its or something <laughs> where, they, where they won't be eating our props. <laughs> and make sure to send all your information and stories to Korean and I. Make sure to subscribe to CNA TV, hit the like button, leave us a comment. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs>